Welcome to another discussion here in the Small Cap Power Room. I'm your host, Jim Gordon. Joining us today is Frank Holmes. He is the Chief Executive and Chief Investment Officer at U.S. Global Investors, which specializes in natural resources and emerging markets investing. He is also an author, uh, writes investment articles for publications, and a regular contributor to a number of investment education websites. He's also an author of The Gold Watcher, Demystifying Gold Investing. And he has uh, a popular investment blog, Frank. Frank, welcome once again to Small Cap Power. Hey, it's great to be with you, Jim. Great to have you, sir. This is our, our third time talking this year, and we uh, our first two times we talked could not have been more different because the world was so different in each case. We're going to jump right in now, and I want to talk to you first about your company, U.S. Global Investors. Give us some updates on, on the growth of the company. Well, U.S. Global is a public company on NASDAQ, tickers GROW, and we're very blessed. Uh, we spent five years building out an ETF called JETS, and awareness is the only one. And it exploded under this environment in assets. It went from $35 million to $2.5 billion. Uh, so therefore, U.S. Global, it's just basically free cash flow. Our revenue is up 300%. The assets are up, as I said, substantially. Uh, we're back to 2011 uh, asset levels. Uh, and our gold ETF, GoAU, listed on New York Stock Exchange also, it's gone from 10 million to 125 million. So from that end, the world's changed. More money's going into ETFs than ever before. Uh, rather than active mutual funds, we positioned for that. And our shareholders are going to be very happy because we're making lots of free cash flow. Uh, Frank, I want to talk about gold uh, first. Uh, let's talk about crypto. I, I, we're talking off camera and your inspiring discussion about the next uh, generation of investors and, and where they're going. Let's talk about crypto first. We're, going, we're, we're in a, a big swing. In, in the 90s, the baby boomers, my age, discovered mutual funds and tech stocks. And today we're having millennials and Generation X discovering the stock market. They are going into ETFs and we're gonna see a transfer of $10 trillion to go from baby boomers over to these new investors. And they are searching for sites like Small Cap Power uh, to learn about small cap stocks. They're more speculatively inclined. They, they go through Robinhood and Robinhood allows them to buy a fraction of a share. They can start with a $300 account. There's no commissions. And so you see that you can buy Bitcoin or Ethereum there. They have a toolbar for gold. They love small cap stocks. Uh, and so that world's changed because the sheer dollars are bigger each month than all the dollars spent on stock buybacks for the S&P 500. So we're, we're seeing millions of new investors and traders come into the capital markets through Acorn and Robinhood and Schwab. Uh, in particular, those other ones like Robinhood seem to get most of the publicity. And I know from my Jets ETF, we had 25,000 that come in before the, the airlines jumped 50%. So when I hear stories, they're all losing money. I say, no, actually, they're pretty smart. They've done research I've learned from them. And Frank, you talk a lot about, I, I've always had that belief about you evolve or you die. And you were talking off camera again about uh, YouTube and, and things like what we're doing here. Is that, a, are more and more the next generation getting their, their information and their education from, from things like we're doing right now compared to say, you know, 10 years ago? Well, when I saw my volume explode in, in March and April in jets and, and trying to figure out what's going on, and I, the research basically said they learn from podcasts. They work out on their Peloton, they're listening to a podcast, or they're going to YouTube, and, and they're trying to sweat and work out and, and research on YouTube. Uh, and when you go on YouTube now, you can see much more information and high-quality research and people. And there's always the the charlatans that are out there, but there's better quality. And I, and I think that that's what I learned from it. And in fact, as U.S. Global is really focused on how do we improve and, and become more informative and timely and educational for the investment public uh, to attract the long, young millennial investor to our various funds. Um, they also, they love crypto. And, and I'm the chairman of High Blockchain. And its volume is again up 10% today, massive volume. It's at an 18-month high. It's moving with Ethereum, went through 500, and Bitcoin has gone through 17,000. So we're, we're seeing that a lot of these, these young investors, they will go to 
these various uh, other asset classes. And in a zero negative rate environment, it's very interesting to see how fast they go. Talking with uh, Frank Holmes uh, of U.S. Global Investors. Don't forget to usfunds.com for more information. Uh, Frank, uh, let's talk gold before we let you go. We always have to do that, and we should be doing that. Um, let's talk about this year and then going forward into uh, 2021. Well, for 21 years, 80% of the time, gold has been up. And when you listen to Wall Street, New York Stock Exchange, CNBC interviews, it's always, it's gone too high or it's going to go lower. It's a negative narrative. But the largest hedge fund in the world, Ray Dalio, uh, who gets a lot of coverage on that YouTube, people interviewing, et cetera, and he uses it to inform. I find it fascinating that uh, he has had a 10% weighting and he's the largest hedge fund in the world. So. I think that this concept of owning gold and gold stocks is going to be grow. Uh, gold in August was, was basically a huge, delta, uh, what they call a sigma move. It's gone through the correction now. And I think that gold will trade much higher uh, over the next uh, three years. It's very conceivable based on the Fed balance sheet expansion, this theory of um, modern monetary theory being implemented by the G20 uh, uh, central bankers. This drives real assets from housing uh, to collectibles, art, and it drives gold, and it's driving Bitcoin and Ethereum today through much higher levels. Gold could be $4,000 easily in the next three years. Uh, Frank, always great to get your insights. It's uh, been a pleasure also getting to talk to you on three separate occasions during this tumultuous year of 2020. I look forward to uh, chatting with you again uh, next year. Uh, it's Frank Holmes, Chief Executive and Chief Investment Officer of U.S. Global Investors. Uh, we should also mention, too, don't check, uh, forget to check out his investment blog, Frank Talk, and his articles, which you can find online and in the old school hard print way where I read my stuff. So, Frank, thank you for joining. you got to give thumbs up on that YouTube. Just about to say that. Thank you for your endorsement. Uh, don't forget to give your thumbs up if you like and this. Frank, we appreciate the endorsement and we thank you for the time. I know you're very busy, sir, and we wish you uh, the best going into 2021. Happy investing. Cheers, pal.